Good morning, everybody. Well, we didn't do no work on the house this week. We had actually went to Oklahoma to pick up uh, pick up my boat from my father-in-law's house. So this week we're going to do a, uh, I guess, an update. <clears throat> Just to kind of show you guys for the new... Uh, for the new viewers and the new subscribers of the before and after of the property and the homestead and all that stuff but um you guys i have to bear with my my talking and hopefully it's not too long but uh let's uh let's go ahead and jump right into it let me turn you guys around So, uh, this, this is the property, and when we came, this was all growed up, a bunch of grass and trampolines and junk, and I'll overlay pictures I don't have no videos but I'll overlay pictures to this so you guys can see there's still a big trash pile there can't really get to it because the water won't dry up there's a spring there so I don't know what I'm gonna do about that trash is was everywhere There's the old truck. That little shed's gonna go away. <clears throat> Our uh, guy that did the French drains, Aaron, he's gonna come by and pick it up. And then uh, <clears throat> the field, that was so overgrown and had the uh, burr plants that has little burr stickers that's nice now got our little trees planted our fruit trees over there got some strawberries planted in the front yard <clears throat> been a transformation that's for sure haven't done much out there you can see all the trees it's down I pulled some post up yesterday we didn't film that but here's the house <clears throat> I finished the very top up there. <clears throat> Couldn't even see the backyard with the growed up grass and the fence and everything and all the bushes that was on the fence. Back here, there used to be so many boxes me and the wife would come out here and burn during the evening for about two hours every night. It took us about a month to burn all the boxes. There's the, there's the boat. <clears throat> and then the backyard. It still needs a little bit of work. When, uh, when the grader was here, Aaron, it was raining, so he couldn't 
he couldn't get it perfect it still needs a little bit of dirt to be filled in you know down there but it's uh it's coming along the french drains are in thankfully i don't have to worry about that anymore Just a huge transformation. It's been a lot of work. A lot of work. What? No, I told you we can't go to the lake yet. She said no. The boat wants to go to the lake. Oh, <clears throat> still got a lot of work to do, but we'll take you inside so you can uh, see what's going on inside. Uh, still got a lot of dirt to move. You can see the, uh, the French drain there. We, uh, I left it open because I'm not sure if I'm going to connect it and come this way around the house this way and then connect a pipe to the gutter there so it gets out and away from the house. We are going to order Order the stuff for the roof, the shingles, and all that good stuff so we can start doing that. That's going to be the next project. Hopefully there's not too much rotten wood up there. And it's a matter of tearing it off and replacing. But uh, let's take you inside so we can... Uh, look at what's going on in there. So this is what would be the kitchen. The door that we just came in is gonna go away and we'll have like an L shape kitchen type deal. Well, we're not sure. But over here will be pantry. We'll have that blocked, uh, walled in. This right here will have a wall going this way. And then going up here, this would be the living room. Dining room type area. This is the master. If and we'll overlay some pictures, but this used to be on a different level. We uh, we lowered the floor, did a bunch of work in here, put two by sixes studs up, and replaced the two by four studs. We did two by twelve, two by twelve floor joist. There used to be a big door, double door right there. We took that out and we put the two windows. The, the uh, bed will go in the middle there. And we have the bathroom. We haven't done the walls here yet, but there'll be an interior wall here for the closets. And then the shower will go on that side of the, this side of the, uh, the bathroom here. And then you'll have, sorry guys, I'm trying to get this thing to work. We'll have the, you can see the tape down there on the floor. That'll kind of be the outline of the 
pooper room. And then behind that will be, you know, my closet back there, which we would get into that. We'd get into that from our bedroom section here. From there, this would be kind of like a little, uh, kind of like a hallway, and then the door would be closer to inside the room here. This beam here, that beam there, I'm gonna push up so I get a little more headroom going underneath there. We don't know what we're gonna do with this. Give me your guys' thoughts. Should we tear it down? We know we want a propane wood burning stove. But uh, there's no chimney to this. It just goes up to the attic and stops. Moving on though, this is the hallway. I will be scooting this wall over about six inches. Give us a little bit more room. That would be the laundry room there. That would be a laundry room. Slash mud room. I think we're going to put the back door where the window's at. This used to be a little bathroom. That won't be there no more. So we'll have that much more room for the laundry room. Looks like a fairly new hot water tank. That'll go away. We'll have a tankless hot water heater. And then moving on, this is where the old washer and dryer was. We'll just have that as like a little linen closet. This was a this was the bathroom, the old bathroom. It was hideous. It's hard for you guys to see, sorry. But uh, that's where the shower was. We need to do a bunch of work there. Fix the rotten wood. It's a mess. I, I haven't cleaned it up since I did the demo, but we had to cut holes in the floor so I could figure out where the septic tank was here that was a, a chore and then one of the bedrooms here it's acting as a storage kind of and this will be a you know complete gut tear down to the studs new wires, new electrical, new plumbing, and here's, here's the wife's starter plant there. She's got a bunch more down there that we planted a couple days ago. Uh-oh, looks like we got some starts. You see them? Right there, right there, right there. I'm sure I planted those ones. <laughs> Turn these on. She needs to come in and see that. But yeah, this is uh we haven't really touched these rooms back here. This is a, a closet here. See there's still junk back here. Some junk back there. Yeah. And then there's this one. This one the drawers. I don't know what we're gonna do with that, but uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully Lisa's got her panties. And I don't know, this is just weird to me, guys, why there's a lock from the outside of the room. Every time I see that, I'm like, I cringe. Like, what the heck's going on? 
But yeah, this is the uh, this is the house, and uh, honestly, the first time I showed it to you guys, I was uh, I was embarrassed, still kind of embarrassed, but it is coming along, and what we're doing, we're doing right, or what I think is right. There's a, a lot of stuff to this house that is not right. For an example, you guys can see the header there, which is the header's uh, a tad bit too big for the window. But, I mean, if you really want to get down to it, here, we'll look at this side. This header has no jack stud to it, which is wrong. But that's, uh, and I'll show you what a jack stud is right here. These are the headers that I put in. Jack studs. Jack studs are these guys. And you see how those go underneath that header that holds the weight that the header is. These boards up here are putting on that header and it's going to those jack studs and it's going down to the floor. Well. These guys did not put them for some odd reason. That door is going to go away, so I'm not worried about that. That window don't have it. That header's too short. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I start thinking about all this stuff and I get overwhelmed. So I try to just take take it at one step at a time. We'll have new cabinets. Those doors, I think they're gonna go down to one door. We'll have new cabinets here. And they'll come around this way. And I think come around to this way, I'm not sure, but. Yeah. We will take that tree down because it's so close to the house. it though but it's got holes in it and the you know, tree guy come out and look at it and he says it's gotta go so it's gotta go but yeah we still have a lot of cleanup to do and but it's coming along and uh, yeah, see, there's our our trees out there that we planted. Go out there and check them out. Still got to do a lot of dirt work, of course. Here's the. Uh, where the French drains are coming out. Going all the way around the house. Still got a bunch of cleanup to do out here. We got some. Those are, uh, oh, what are those? I can't remember what those are. We got some apple trees and we got some peach trees and something else. 
Yeah. This is it. RV still doing good. Tractor still doing good. Boat. Boat's doing wonderful. It's ready to go. But yeah, like I said, this is uh, this is the homestead, and uh, this is all the work that I have to do here. So if you're uh, if you're new to the channel and you want to follow along, subscribe. Um, means a lot. And uh, I guess thanks for watching, and I guess I'll see you guys next week.